International Space Station. The International Space Station circles the Earth 16 times a day. Whoa, it's huge! It's actually the largest satellite ever sent into space. And it's bigger than a jumbo jet. How did it get there? Rockets took it into space, piece by piece. And then it was put together like a big space jigsaw. Exactly. That must have taken ages. Luckily, Canada, the United States, Russia, Japan, the UK, and lots of other countries worked together to help build it. Great teamwork! But what did they use the International Space Station for? Scientists do special experiments there, which they can't do on Earth. And that helps them learn new things. I love to do experiments in outer space. Now, let's test your memory. Planets with rings. Half the planets in our solar system have rings around them. What are you doing, Gorby? I'm playing planets. I'm pretending to be Saturn. See? Saturn's got rings around it, and I'm wearing my rubber ring. Saturn has the largest group of rings. What are the rings made of? Mostly dust and rock. Like Saturn, Jupiter is made of gas. Jupiter's got rings too! Uranus has 13 rings that run vertically from top to bottom, rather than across from side to side like the other planets. Neptune is an ice giant and has six rings. Hey, I just realized. The gas and the ice planets in our solar system are the ones that also have rings. Nash wants to play planets now. Come on, Nash. You can be Jupiter with your rubber rings, and I'll be Saturn with mine. Oh, wow! Let's spell. Rings. N G G G S rings. A solar eclipse happens about every 18 months, and you can only see it from certain parts of the Earth. What a beautiful bright day! It's sunny now, Willow, but it's about to turn much darker. But it's not even close to nighttime. You're about to see a solar eclipse. Oh, is that when the moon passes in front of the sun? It is. As the moon orbits the Earth, Sometimes the moon gets between the Earth and the sun, which blocks the sun's light. I can't wait to see this! Then you're going to need some special eclipse glasses. You should never look directly at the sun. Back in a second! Good work, Willow. Hey, it's already darker. The eclipse has started! Solar eclipses only last a few minutes. And some, called partial eclipses, don't block out all of the sun. But this is a total solar eclipse. It's amazing. As the moon continues in its orbit, the light from the sun is no longer blocked. You know, that felt like the shortest night ever. Now, let's test your memory. Find the items that begin with eh. Nebula.
around in space. What can you hear in outer space? Here on Earth, there's a lot of noise. Yeah, so many different sounds. But have you ever wondered what sounds there are out in space? It's noisy, right? Stars exploding, asteroids crashing into each other. Bash! Crash! Let's see. And here, shall we? Here we are. In our galaxy, the Milky Way. Wait, where's all the noise? In space, we can't hear the sounds, Marco. How can that be? On Earth, sounds can travel by vibrating air. That's how noise is mostly made. Oh, I get it. There's no air in outer space. So... Without the air... Sounds can't travel. Except you do hear... What, Marco? The sound of silence. Let's spell. Sounds. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, uh, you, s, s, d, 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 s, s, n, sounds. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun in our solar system. That's the planet Neptune. I'm reading about it in my book. Neptune is the furthest planet from the sun in our solar system. It's so far that it took scientists some time to spot it. But Neptune is very big. Nearly four times bigger than the Earth. It looks so peaceful. I could go there to read my book. You might get a bit distracted on Neptune, Chester. Why? It's a very cold planet with strong winds and raging storms. It's what's called an ice giant. Ice giant? That means it's made of rock and ice with slushy, icy liquid on the surface. Look, Neptune's got spots. What do you think they are, Chester? My book says the dark spots on Neptune are actually storms. Hmm. Yep. Definitely easier to read all about Neptune than read on Neptune. Let's spell Neptune. Eh, eh, e, eh, eh, eh. E mm, mm. N mm, mm. N P P P uh, uh, uh. U T T T T Neptune. <laughs> 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 <laughs>